Hello guys, hello, my name is Yelena, welcome back to my channel. Today, again, another easy cake will be fox cake. Alright, so everybody knows all those cakes uh, looks like unicorns. So the same kind of idea only will be fox face. So again, I'm going to pre-make ahead a few details. So that way when we decorate, it will be easy for us. So I need to make ears. And here's I'm using orange fondant and I just freehand cut out the size and I'm um, gonna soften up the edges just like that and then for the middle I'm gonna use white fondant I'll roll it out and again just freehand so I'm gonna try piece first see what it looks like and then use the first piece to cut the second one so they pretty much kind of the same like that and i'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the ear and while i'm at the with the white fondant i'm gonna make mushrooms so the base will be white and the top will be red so just roll a ball and then flatten it on a table and I'm gonna make several of them and attach the tops to the base with a little bit of water and then we're gonna attach the polka dots just like that so nothing really anything elaborate freehand just like that Okay, and now I'm going to go back to my ears and create texture. So I'm going to start with the rolling pin and then to really make it furry furry, I'm going to help it with the toothpick. Just frill it a little bit, just like that. And we're going to stand it up. Oh, doesn't want to stand. All right, I'm going to prop it against the fondant bucket, just like that. And I'm going to make a curve in it, see? And I'm going to leave it overnight to dry, just like that. Okay? So this is the next day already. So I already covered my cake in the orange fondant. And here's the tail will be going on the side. It's uh, I didn't film it, but it's just a mixture like for the cake pops. So a mixture of the cake with the icing. And I formed it in a tail shape and I just wrapped it on the plastic wrap and left it on the fridge overnight. Okay, so tail will be laying kind of like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and eyeball how big the face needs to be. So I'm going to just use my hands and uh, make a marks how wide it needs to be. Like that. So see, nothing hard. And my middle and about this tall. See, and I just mark the fondant and go ahead and cut it out just like that and now I'm gonna cut the face so I'm gonna first round the corners and then use exacto knife to cut the nose part out all right of course kind of make sure that it's nice and even just like that I'm gonna use water on the back attach it to the cake take tail down all right make sure it sticks to the cake nice and flat then I'm gonna use the end of the rolling pin to soften the edges and make it a little furry Just like that do other side and now let's wrap the tail so take the plastic off of course and I'm gonna wrap it in a orange fondant first all right cut the excess fondant around the edge 
and I'm gonna fold under the ends so the cake doesn't stick out okay and then we need to make white tip for the tail so here's my white fondant if it doesn't stick to the fondant then use a little water to attach it okay and the white fondant can be thin so that way it blends in better all right cut excess as well so here's our tail just like that we'll lay it on the side make sure it's nice and flat and we're gonna make a texture with the toothpick so it looks like furry tail so just go ahead and take your time to work through it and I'm going uh, in different directions from left to right and from right to left just so it, until I like it so there is no really special technique to this so just make sure it looks nice all right then we're gonna make a tail um, sorry nose and eyes yeah, so just a piece of black fondant okay and for the eyes I'm gonna roll thin sausage and go ahead and attach it well, not too sticky again just a little water all right do the same for the second eye so it matches and add a couple lashes yep, come on get in there all right a couple lashes and again repeat on the other side okay now for the ears I'm gonna use licorice color petal dust and use a dry brush and I'm gonna dust a little bit edges of the ears just to give it a little more definition All right, just take your time and I'm working on top of the paper towel so I don't make a mess on the table be easier to clean <laughs> all right and then I'm gonna use large cocktail toothpicks and stick each ear like so and I'm gonna attach that to the cake so make sure you find your center and push the ears in okay and now I'm gonna do the same for the tail so the same petal dust and I'm gonna dust the black where the white meets the, meets the orange all right so just make sure take your time and color it in okay now I have all this molds for leaves and ferns so I'm gonna pre-make a few leaves and I'm gonna use this large ones for the sides I'm gonna use light green fondant and just like any other mold just push your fondant in make sure you have clean edges if uh, your hands stick to the fondant or fondant sticks to the mold just use a little cornstarch and just peel it out just like that so I'm gonna make several of them see I'm gonna make sure I cover my spot where I touch the black on the side of the cake <laughs> all right so the large mushrooms I'm gonna use a toothpick in them so make sure they stand up for the small ones just a little bit of icing at the base and they will be fine and I'm gonna attach my leaves with the dab of water again nothing fancy just like that And I'm gonna put a couple of the leaves and mushrooms around the cake
All right, so here's the final cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. And I will see you next video. Bye. Love you so much.